When Jesus was leaving the earth, he promised the disciples the Holy Spirit, and on the day of Pentecost, this promise was fulfilled. This is why everyone who has accepted the life of Christ has the Spirit of God within them. If you are a believer, you have the Holy Spirit within you. However, you have the responsibility of building your relationship with Him. The Holy Spirit is to guide us according to the will of God, but we have the choice to yield to His guidance. It's in acknowledging Him in all our ways, seeking to know His will, and obeying His instructions that we grow our relationship with Him. Now we can know the will of God through His Spirit within us. He is our guide, our counselor, our comforter, and our helper. We are not supposed to live life alone, but understand the leadership of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 8, The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. When you are born of the Spirit, you follow His leadings, so no one can tell the direction you go. The greatest gift God gives us after salvation is the Holy Spirit. We get to host the Spirit of God in our lives. We get to have a confidant and a senior partner to whom we submit. God lives in us through His Spirit. This is more than exciting. Not only do we have the life of Christ within us, but we also have His Spirit which means we never lack direction and we are never confused as long as we turn to the Holy Spirit for help. While the Holy Spirit is our comforter when we are facing difficult times, our guide when we need directions, and our helper in time of need, He also convicts us when we are wrong. The Holy Spirit would correct you and convict you when you do the wrong thing. Love not only celebrates us when we are doing well, but also corrects us when we are doing wrong. There are times when we go against God's will and the Holy Spirit corrects us. Usually we tend to call this the voice of our conscience. He may also correct us through the other means He speaks to us, through dreams and visions, through the audible voice, and every other way He speaks to us. However, one primary way the Holy Spirit convicts us is through our conscience. When you walk with God, study His Word, spend time praying and desire to do His will, it becomes easy for you to easily notice when your conscience is telling you you have done something wrong. The extent to which you easily hear the voice of your conscience is based on how quickly you respond to it in previous times. Ignoring it over and over makes it difficult for you to notice later when your conscience is against something you're doing. The Holy Spirit uses our conscience, the sense of right and wrong, to convict us many times when we are wrong. We have the Holy Spirit within us to help us live a victorious Christian life when we are fully yielded to God's will. This does not only mean that He will guide us on what to do, but it also means that He would correct us when we are on the wrong path. When the Holy Spirit convicts us, it's for our own good, because even His correction is also out of love for us. Sometimes we honestly do not know that we are on the wrong path. It may not seem wrong, but the Holy Spirit shows us that it is. The correction from the Holy Spirit is for our good. That is the way He causes us to grow. It is by the leading of the Holy Spirit that we can truly fulfill the will of the Father. The purpose of our lives is to walk constantly in God's will for our lives. Anytime we veer off that path, the Holy Spirit convicts us. We can choose to listen to His voice or to follow our own desires, but the wise option is to yield to Him. Our lives are no longer our own. We were bought with a price. Therefore, we should live for the one who chooses to die for us. Of course, it is not always easy. There are times when we struggle with obedience, 
and there are times when we just don't have the strength to obey. Even when we feel like this, whenever the Holy Spirit corrects us, we should admit our wrong and ask Him to help us obey, even when it is difficult. You may be wondering, how do I know when the Holy Spirit is not happy with me? How do I know He is convicting of something? Here are some things you will notice when the Holy Spirit is not happy with you. Your conscience. This is one major key the Holy Spirit uses in convicting us when we are wrong. In every person on earth, whether believers or unbelievers, God has placed in them a conscience that tells them something is wrong and something is right. It cannot be explained. We just know. However, as many grow and keep ignoring their conscience, they harden their hearts, and it becomes difficult for them to hear the voice of their conscience. However, if we have the desire to please God and are careful to seek His will, it is easier for Him to reach us through our conscience. In your heart, you may just realize that what you are doing is wrong. That may be the Holy Spirit convicting you. Do not harden your heart. Listen to Him and yield to Him. He will help you. Your peace. Another way you may know the Holy Spirit is convicting you about something is if you suddenly lose your peace about it. If your heart is suddenly disturbed and anxious about a decision you made, go back to pray and seek the face of God concerning it. That way you will know if your actions did not please Him. The Bible tells us not to grieve the Holy Spirit. If you learn to see the Holy Spirit as a person who could be grieved by your actions, it will be easier to follow His desires and apologize when you make mistakes. Struggle to pray. It is the Holy Spirit that helps our weaknesses and helps us to pray according to the will of God. When we struggle to pray, it may sometimes be an indication that the Holy Spirit is not happy with us. He may say it to you. In whatever way the Holy Spirit speaks to you, He may tell you about something you did wrong. He may correct your actions so that you may know what to do. The Holy Spirit is a person that can be grieved by our actions. We are to have a growing relationship with Him. We should be careful with the way we act so as not to hurt Him. Even when we do and He convicts us, we should be quick to repent and choose to listen to Him. We make mistakes and we may sometimes be stubborn. But our response when the Holy Spirit convicts us is very important. We should know that He wants the best for us, and if He is correcting us, it is because we are wrong. Even His corrections are rooted in love for us. Let His words change your heart, and when you realize He is convicting you of something, acknowledge that you are wrong and ask Him to help you overcome it. With the Spirit of God within you, nothing is impossible for you as long as it is in accordance with God's will. Therefore, the strength to obey God is available for you. If you want to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit and know Him more, you have to learn to submit to His will and change your path whenever He shows you that you're on the wrong one. Walking with the Holy Spirit may not always be easy because our flesh has its own desires, but we can overcome them. Pray with me. Father, thank you for giving me your precious Holy Spirit. Thank you for your guidance, for help, for counsel, for wisdom, and for correction. Help me to remember that even when you correct me, you do so out of love for me. Help me yield to the corrections of the Holy Spirit. Help me to live life according to your will. Thank you for hearing me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.